Hi, today we will be making an origami creeper that would look like this. And also a magic trick that you can do is like that. But you need to be very good at folding it first then. If you want to make a magic trick. <coughs> Alright, so the materials that you will need are if you have a white sheet of paper, um just some coloring thing, green, and a pen or a marker. Doesn't need to be black for the eyes and the mouth. Now, first thing we do is turn the sheet over and fold it in half. Like this. Then on this edge, oh yeah, we have to also get some scissors. But we don't have to use scissors. Scissors are just if you want to do it. So just start cutting it off this edge. That's only if you have a rectangle, like me. Because I just want to make mine look big. Like that. Okay. Now we can just take away the scrap. You don't really need it. Now, on this, now, we, we um, color it with green. We don't have to color it green. Just, I'm going to. So, first... Take the edge, color it away. But usually, first I do, so that I go faster, first I do the grid, then I know where to color. So then I won't be coloring in places where I don't have to be coloring. A four times four grid like this, like this, like this. But practically on this one, I don't really have to color it. Just um, color it here, um, and just color the very bottom uh, over here over here over here over here and I remember you have to color here and here and here and here here and here here and here see you only color you don't color three boxes you don't really need to now for the eyes and the mouth so you put them um, right over here. So it would be, um, the eye would be like that. I'm not making it that good. I'm just putting in a tutorial. And then the mouth would look like this. Like that. So the uh, creeper face would look like that. Now comes in one of the hard parts. First thing, fold uh, from here to here with a valley so you'll be able to go like this. See how under here if you go, there will be like a flap. Now fold from here to here inside the same thing, a valley just this time into the, the other direction. Try and make the creases good. Now fold the top like that. Fold it like that. Then just fold it in. Oh yeah, by the way, this is my own design, at least I haven't seen it on YouTube yet. And like that. Then the legs. So the legs you fold like this. See just a one square, one square and then a half of a square because we're gonna be putting down a little bit more folds now. Fold from here to here. That's where the 
intersecting thing is and then do the same thing just on the other side of the of the square like that see intersection right over there now just fold it now we have to do the same thing as we had done here to this one so do the very same thing like that then like that and then like that okay so now we have almost finished with the head and legs now just fold this up fully up and then you don't have to do this but this will just make it easier see the square letter right here fold it up on that square fold it up like that now you see the square right over here and you see that fold it fold that square in half no. over here there should be a valley and here there should be a valley now time to construct the whole entire thing i would first do the bottom which would be pretty easy just fold it into a cube like this just fold it into a cube and then just fold it like this fold it like that see then just squash this thing here all right, now just do the head. First fold it like this, and fold this other flap behind, and fold this giant flap inside the head to make the head. Now, take this whole entire thing like this, and now fold this up. and fold it in half see uh, make fold this up to this uh crease right over here of the neck part then squash this and try and make it exact you don't have to squash it all the way because here wherever it meets right over there then just fold it down and fold here on the edge now fold it down again and then just make the second squashy and fold it this one up fold and then this one but here you'll have it open because that would be the two sides of the origami sheet of paper now fold this to the middle well, like make like a middle crease and then fold the neck to the middle part and also stretch it all the way down and all the way up now do the same thing on all the other sides you don't really have to be on the exact middle just somewhere close to the middle Here's your creeper also, and that trick that you can do is, oh yeah, see so just put your fingers, right, put your fingers right under um, the neck part and just push it, yeah, he's saying yes, no, and then you can just make him stand, try and make him stand, and here is your creeper. Thanks for watching, and I wish you had. A f I wish you have a fun time with your creeper. You can use him as a pet, also.